we give you the facts, it's not what you think. Popeye Newsling, Young King, One Yard, bless. Good morning, Popeye. Grandma watch Popeye's every morning and every night. Greetings, greetings viewers and subscribers. So today's video is brought to you courtesy of Infinity Dream Liquor Palace. They are located at shop number one at Imperial Plaza, 93 Great George Street in Savannah Lamar and at the Rainbow Plaza in Hopewell in the parish of Anova. At Infinity Dream Liquor Palace, they don't deal with knockoffs. You will get liquors from Infinity Dream that you will not get anywhere else in Western Jamaica. Trust me when I tell you that. They have white Hennessy. They have all the Crown Royals that you can think of and a lot more. Just call them at 876-724-8228. That's 876-724-8228. They also do consignment. So if you are keeping a party and you want liquor and consignment, all you need is a bill, your ID and a reference letter. And then you check with Infinity Dream. Ensure that you check with them for all your good stuffs. Now, as promised, today, our in-house lawyer is Mr. Lambert Johnson. If you have any question that you would want Mr. Johnson to answer, just send us a WhatsApp message. 876-343-1034. That's 876-343-1034. For. Or if you want to speak with Mr. Johnson directly, or if you want to set up an appointment to speak to him, keep watching. His numbers will be posted. Remember to like and share the video from now. So, let's ask the lawyer. Yeah, good afternoon, Sir Johnson. How are you doing, sir? I am very well. Yeah, man. Happy New Year to you, man. Happy New Year. And Happy New Year to you too and your very many subscribers yes sir and i wish that 2023 is their best year yet <laughs> yes sir yes and sir. That they'll have good health wealth and happiness because those are the fundamentals thanks a lot yes sir thanks I, i'm sure they'll appreciate it all right so today we want to touch on a few topics but firstly um say for example i go to a restaurant and i buy a patty or a burger or a chicken and when i bite on it i feel something in my mouth crunchy when i check it i realize it's a roach or a bug what do I do? As disgusted as it is, the first order of business is to try and preserve the evidence because yes. it's going to become very important yes. later. And the circumstances that you just outlined mm -hmm. would also apply to if you were to buy a bread. Yes. And when you got home and started eating, you, you saw roaches or any other kind of bugs in it. Mm -hmm. Or if you had a drink and... When you swallow this, you realize there's a snail in it and there's actually a case like that. Or, or when you buy your biscuits. So the first order of business is to preserve the evidence. Yes. And in this 2023, I would readily suggest that you take pictures of it on your phone. Have a quick video of it if possible. Um, bring it to the attention of other persons in the event you have to go to court. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you bring it to the attention of the supplier. So if it's a restaurant, you go in there, bring it to the attention of the members of staff, mm -hmm. or if it is a supermarket you bought the item from, or a bakery, you go back. Okay. okay. One of the things they, they usually want to do is to have you hand over the item. Yes, I was, I was going to ask you that, yes. Never hand it over. This is your this is your exhibit. This is your proof. Yes. Um. Because a lot of times, uh, when it gets into the hand of the supplier, mm -hmm. it disappears. Okay. Okay. Right. And then, of course, I recommend that you go get medical treatment. Because once you see something like that, you're going to be having some mal effects on your person. Mm -hmm. so when you, and then, uh, after you do all of that, I recommend that you go see an attorney mm -hmm. who could write on your behalf to seek compensation. Okay. How about taking refund? Uh, how about what if, if, if the person wants to refund you? Well, you can decide then and there now. Yes. If you, if you accept a, a refund and hand over the item, you can pretty much consider the case dead. Dead, dead. Okay. okay. If, you think that is, if you think that is sufficient for you and yeah. you want to end it 
because sometimes you realize it might not be so bad, but you know, you get turned off. Yes. Um, you can take a refund. Some persons don't, don't want to go to court or. Mm-hmm. So you can take a refund, but know that your case is going to die right there. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, I got that. So, so you handing over the item and then you're here. So, head office going to call you and this and that. You, you actually throw the case once you hand over the item. And yes. <laughs> yes. Because, because you give them the upper hand because yes, they, yes. Know, they know have the exhibit. Yes. And they are going to tell you that maybe you put it in there and yes. they don't know how to get there and they're going to tell you that their system of production mm-hmm. is is verified yes. and that is there that that is not supposed to happen. Mm-hmm. But you can never tell. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot. I think I think I think persons will appreciate this because persons have been asking. So let's move on to one of the other topics, Sir Johnson. All right. So so I I want to discuss mm-hmm. um what I call partition of property. But as a preliminary to that, I need to highlight the ownership of land. Okay. Uh, so most persons when they buy land and they get the title, mm-hmm. they will see on the title either joint tenants or tenants in common. Okay. So, there's a big difference. Yes. When you buy as joint tenants, you call what is what we call the right of survivorship, chips in. Yes. What that means is the last person alive becomes the owner of the property. Okay. Uh, so that's joint tenancy. Yes. The other one now is tenants in common. Mm-hmm where you own your share independent of the other person. That means if they die, you don't get their part or they don't get your share. So, so what you could do is you could, you could actually sell your half yes. or your, your, your portion. Yes. Um, you could lease your portion and you can, of course, will it to your family members, your estate. Okay. No, so, so the big thing about it is usually when you're buying property, Husband and wife, mm-hmm. it is recommended that they buy as joint tenants. Okay. Because one, once you're living in harmony and with the passage of time, we expect that if one dies, the okay. wish would be for the other party to get it. Yes. And there are occasions when brothers buy property or business partners. Mm-hmm. Your hope is not for your property to go to your brother or your business partner. Yes. You want for it to go to your estate, your wife or your children. Mm-hmm. And so at, in those circumstances, you buy as tenants in, in common. common. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, so one of the things you must know, though, that whilst you, once you own the property as joint tenant, even if you put it in a will, your portion, giving it to somebody else, that does not, is of no effect. Because the law is the joint tenant owns jointly with you. And once you die, you can't will it. It will go to the other joint tenant. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, so a lot of persons don't know that. Mm-hmm. So the only thing you can do if you are a joint tenant and you don't wish for that to happen, so husband and wife, they are living happily. Yes. But suddenly they are, they are not living in harmony. Then in those circumstances, you can take steps so sever the tenancy, as we call it. Oh. And, right. So sometimes the persons, but both persons have to sign. So it becomes tricky. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yes, yes, yes. And the title might be with the bank. So you have to now take steps mm-hmm. to what we call sever the tenancy. Okay. So you'd have to, so you'd have to do a deliberate act. Mm-hmm. So you could maybe speak to lease your portion mm-hmm. or try to sell your portion but you need to establish beyond a shadow of a doubt that the intention is to sever the tenancy and in those circumstances you will be able to deal with your with your interest in mm-hmm. the property you said to establish beyond a shadow of a doubt to who um it would be to the what would call the uninterested objective person who looks on oh so like if you were to go to the title's office yes based on what you have, you'd have done yes they would have seen that yes there was every intention um it could be to attorneys to the court because sometimes it ends up in court as well mm-hmm. having regard to the steps that you took 
yes. then the court would be minded to say yes, the tenancy was severed. Okay, okay. So you can just have it in your mind, boy. I, you know, I, I don't. I, I want to sever it. You have to do something mm-hmm. deliberate mm-hmm. and specific to sever the tenancy okay. in those circumstances. And th- th- there are there are some things that can happen mm-hmm. that persons don't think about it down the road. So I'm not going to bring this example. Years ago, yes, um, a gentleman bought a house mm-hmm. as joint joint tenant with his son mm-hmm. and they were happy and then he got married yes and the wife came to live in what she thought was the matrimonial home mm-hmm. and she never really took any steps to do anything because this is her husband's property they are living in harmony nothing is happening yes and then the husband dies yes her name is not on the title and the son says to her madam you have to leave and my, my property, mm-hmm. please leave. And as painful as it is, those circumstances, oh. she does not own the property. The court very likely yes. will make an order for her to vacate the premises. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I wasn't looking at that at all, at all, at all. So the, 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 there are many aspects. Mm-hmm. There are many aspects to it, you know? Yes. So when you're buying land, Mm-hmm. Have the attorney explain to you clearly the tenancy in which the land is to be held, yes. so that you can make an informed decision. Um, there are certain circumstances which will recommend joint tenancy, mm-hmm. and there are other te- circumstances will re- will recommend tenancy in common. Yes. But the final decision, the final decision is always that for the client to make because they must best know their circumstances okay. and what they wish to um, in the future. I know of like people buying through land like through the housing agency and stuff. They don't go to no lawyer. Um because oh, oh, what would they tell them that they want giant tenancy or they want to decide that? Because I, I know of persons and that, that was never put to them. Yes. Alright. So when persons buy land without an attorney, mm-hmm. they are setting themselves up for a horror story. I have seen too many examples. Mm-hmm. I mean, typical one, sisters living in harmony. Yes. And one owns a title. Mm-hmm. One owns a property. She says she wants five million. Yes. She gives it to the um, the sister gives her the five million. They exchange title and there's no paperwork. Oh. oh. And then Yes. Um some years down the road they realize, okay, let us formalize this. Mm-hmm. And then they suddenly realize that the, the 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 one who has gotten the money and so sold, so who's going to pay the lawyer fees? Mm-hmm. Or she might ask, who's going to pay the transfer tax? Because she's obliged to pay the transfer tax. Yes. But by then the money is done. Mm-hmm. And so, and when you're selling, buying and selling land, you need paperwork. You need an agreement for sale. Yes. You need an instrument of transfer. Yes. And even if it's unregistered land, you need the agreement for sale because at some point, that document will form part of the group of documents you submit mm-hmm. to get title in your name okay okay and in 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 any event in any event that i see this too often yes person sell land without the formalities they don't have the paperwork to show mm-hmm. and the next generation who don't know the transaction mm-hmm. um it causes a difficulty mm-hmm. because they will say the title here is my father's name on it mm-hmm. but your father would have sold half acre and they are low Mass um, to go on it and yeah. put up his house, yes. and there's confusion, yes, 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 and contention. Mm-hmm. So I always, always, because land is not like a car, mm-hmm. it's not like food. It goes on in perpetuity, and the paperwork must be completed and completed properly. Otherwise, it might be good for you, you know, but you are setting up for what I call inter generational conflict yes sir yes um yes sir b- b- before, before yes. we close i just want to make a bit of social commentary yes sir and this kind of touch and concern the the transport authority mm-hmm. no the transport authority you all see with the police but their remit is to deal with public passenger vehicles oh but they have t- 
taking upon themselves now where I see in the mornings I'm driving past and you will see a workman on his way to work alone and the transport authority stops them and searches their vehicle and find the tool of their trade in it and say to them, if you don't go and get the carrier's license, they are going to prosecute you. Mm-hmm. It, it, uh, to my mind, that's an, that's an oppressive and wrong execution of your duty. Because if you're going to say to a mechanic, you can carry your tools in the vehicle, or you're going to say to a, a builder, you can carry your trowel and your, your level. Mm-hmm. The next thing is to take it logically. I should, be, I should have a carrier's license too because I have my laptop and my yeah, laptop and yeah, my phone. That's what I'm looking at. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> you know, so just told, I, I, I have noticed it mm-hmm. and they are my, my neighbors and persons have complained to me bitterly. Mm-hmm. And, so, I, and, and, and I wonder why they persist. Yes. So is it that is, so they 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 only have power over PPVs? That, that that is where their power lies. Or if they are to see someone passing in the morning, yes, and the person have a number of persons in the vehicle, yes, you you could they could stop and say, um, are these passengers or what? Yes, and if it, and if the people say, um, no, it's my family member, it's, it's my neighbor carrying the children them to. School to school yes it ends there but no the transport authority people mm-hmm. they, 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 they want to take the person aside and say you pay any money mm-hmm. and prosecute wrong rubbish oh and yeah. then no they have the gall the temerity to seize the people vehicles in those circumstances they are setting themselves up for a lawsuit. That's what I'm looking at because without them getting a statement from somebody in the vehicle, how can they say that the person was operating as a, as a taxi? Ah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and, and I see this happening. It pains my heart. Yes. Yeah. So, so um, what, 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 and, and, and the, the road traffic like, road traffic are coming in now. But what do somebody do? You're driving, you, 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 you pick up and you're going on and them stop you and say, Whatever you must. What, what, what is the right of the citizen? Um, the citizen could say, I am not obliged to answer. Okay. And I'm not going to answer you. Yes. You understand? Yes. If you're going, you are going to charge me, charge me any evidence that you have. If yes. If you have no evidence, leave me alone. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, you, you see, there, there, there's a well known case, you know, mm-hmm. that came about so many years ago mm-hmm. when a gentleman was on his way attending to his business mm-hmm. and and the police stopped him. Yes. And they, they stopped him and the man took umbrage to it. Yes. And took them to court because one, one, one of the rulings coming out of that from the court is that the police, and this is quoting from the judgment, have absolutely no legal right or authority under the road traffic act or otherwise to stop a motorist on the basis that they are doing hot checks mm-hmm. and to request documents and driver's license. Okay. They're not supposed to do it. You can object. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because there's a video now circulating. The man was asking, yeah, the man was, I don't know if you see it. <laughs> the man was videotaping the police and asked him, Are you requesting my document or are you demanding me to give you my document? Because if you are demanding me, de- demanding of me, that's a lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. No, no, and, and, and there is an authority. Yes. Um, well-known judge, Justice David, but yes, made it very clear in his judgment. Yeah. Uh, yes, I think I remember that. Yes. 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 I think I remember that. Yeah. He says it, it is unlawful, but the police first. Yes. Yes. If you have a suspicion, yes, then you can go ahead. But in a state of emergency, all of that is gone, though. The police can stop anybody. No, but for. But for what purpose? Okay, okay, okay. For what purpose? Yes, 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 yes. You may not. Despite we under a state of emergency, we're still not a police state. State, yes, 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 yes. So, so, so the state of emergency mm-hmm. is designed mm-hmm. to catch what they call violence producers. producers. Yes, yes. So, I'm on my way to work. I'm committing no offense. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Yes, I can pass through your checkpoint. Mm-hmm. Um, but if there is nothing to trigger mm-hmm. my document are in order, you are entitled to go through. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, man. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks for all of that. All right, so well, I think we have covered a lot. So <laughs> next week, definitely, we'll be we'll be back with some some other topics. And Most definitely. Yeah, man, and enjoy your week, Sir Johnson. Thanks a lot. Any, any closing? Any closing out? No, no, no. I, I've said enough for this week. <laughs> all right, sir. All right. So next week, catch you next week, Sir Johnson. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> all right, yeah. respect, sir. Respect.